Welcome back to Squawk Box. It is ta- a time now for the executive edge. The U.S. Army planning to fund construction of rare earths processing facilities. This, according to Reuters, it's part of an urgent push by Washington to uh, secure domestic supply of minerals that are used to make military weapons and electronics. That would mark uh, the first investment by the U.S. military into commercial scale rare earths production back since the Manhattan Project uh, in World War II. China, which refines most of the world's rare earths uh, has threatened to stop exporting the specialized minerals to the U.S. using its monopoly as a potential leverage in the trade war. So this is an interesting development in terms of yeah. what we can do. It's, it's good. sort of an America it's first good to see it. strategy in terms well, of what not we even can do. an America first. This is just protect yourself. Right, in case protect you no yourselves. Have but no, but it's a, right. And here, right. this is an interesting thing. Now, by the way, I'm sure China. that there are going to be environmentalists and all sorts of other people who are going to look at this. Uh, with other views. Which we certainly need to talk about. Um, so, well, except for that, some of those rare earths are necessary if you want to build things like in the real world. vehicles for just the batteries like, and, for them. Just, like for, and right. for phones and for everything else, like, 100%. No, yeah. but you're saying, yes, if, if, yes. if you're on the environmental side, part of what they need to do everything's is relative. Do this yeah. for Life is relative. Just like batteries. fossil fuels, which we may be using for a few more years, uh, Andrew. Um, okay, Boomer. So that was rare earth. That was the ban. Singing, I just want to celebrate. I thought we could have played it for, for we can play it next week for USMCA. Should we celebrate USMCA? I thought we were playing YMCA for that. We could do both. Our... <laughs> Sounds quick. He's, you're uncomfortable with that. I don't understand why you don't want to do the USMCA. But what about rare? You think I just want to celebrate is okay for, 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 for the NAFTA 2.0? Do you like it? Are you happy with it? I could be happy with Pat it. Pat Toomey is not. Well, that's we your interview. That with okay, him. that's your interview. I just want to make sure. So, but the reason this was 1971 when this song came out, yeah. and I was I remembered very well when it came out. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember the moon landing too. These are things that give me perspective, balance, gravitas. wisdom, gravitas. Not negative things. I mean, there are some negative things which I talk about quite a bit, uh, as you know. Um, anyway, in in sports, a 324 million dollar deal. The New York Yankees are betting big on. A pitcher Garrett Cole with reports suggesting he's agreed to a nine-year contract with uh, the team that's roughly $36 million a year, <laughs> approximately a million dollars per start. Not bad. Uh, the deal would make the 29-year-old the highest paid pitcher of all time and the fourth player in history to sign a deal worth uh, more than $300 million. Cole led all starting pitchers in strikeouts last season. Uh, with 26. And we 326. Can, uh, 326, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> 26. Uh, but I was already thinking about the next thing I was saying. That was comparing it to CEO pay, and then, then we get into the, the whole discussion about that. It's just as, you know, do CEOs have a true marketplace? That's the thing with, with boards and everything else. Because this is pure, you know, you pay the guy, you want him, you win. You, By the way, more people come to the stadium. It's a, you he know. was going to be an early, he was, I think, a first round draft pick for the Yankees way back when, but then he decided to go play for UCLA instead. He's a Yankees fan, has yeah. been his whole life. Yeah. So uh, it's a bit of a coming home for him. Talking sports. Now, Farley was yeah. here last week. We had such great, we had a lot of good sports uh, discussions last week. Uh, you're out of, you're completely detached again. We talk the, about uh, like volleyball, <laughs> badminton. These are games. Why? No, I'm badminton. Just saying, badminton. I'm just saying. Volleyball's a serious sport. But can be. So is yes. badminton.